September the 30th, 2019. It is a little bit morning hours, right? You see right there, it's two o'clock, almost half three o'clock in the morning. Strange, but not so strange in my life because this is what Mr. Kaczynski organized. Uh, my work hours change uh, routinely. I start at six o'clock in the morning one day, work for 12 hours. A uh, very heavy labor job I do, and and at about eighteen hundred hours in afternoon. Then I have to appear the next day at eighteen hundred hours in afternoon and work overnight until six o'clock in the morning. Uh, none of this stuff is a coincidence. It's all MK Ultra scenario being played out in real time now. Uh, this is kind of a sounds insane, but this now is a rehearsal, uh, a real repetition of MK Ultra scenario that goes on. It continues to roll on, uh, and it really doesn't matter what one does or does not. They hit with absolutely all the issues they have involved. Uh, under MK Ultra scenario, and I can assure you that these are the most disgusting things a human mind possibly could produce. Uh, they are beyond imaginable disgusting. And for that matter, this morning, as these issues involve real health issues, real health concerns, uh, I have, you know, come to conclusion already for quite some time back. Uh, that I would not join. It was a very statement that might have affected uh, some Polish people that, well, this is why this video, this video is dedicated to some people that might be brainwashed into a complete lie, uh, which Mr. Kaczynski, Mr. Duda, Mr. Morawiecki have allowed themselves uh, along this neo-Nazi fascist Ku Klux Klan Donald Trump associates him and his associates and of course uh, Vladimir Putin from Moscow with his associates. Uh, this is pretty much with this ruling party here in Poland uh, supports along with people like Austrian Strache, Kurz uh, and then you have this Italian fascist uh, from Lega North and so on. Uh, that's pretty much what they are pushing forward and you have a Marine Le Pen. In Britain however it seems like they started to uh, well the whole thing seems like um, it's going under control one way or the other. But this pretty much is what, uh, who these people are, what these people are, and basically what they want. And what exactly is it they want? What exactly is it Mr. Kaczynski wants from me? What is it exactly? Uh, Mr. Kaczynski designed the whole thing according to his extremely violent uh, scenario. I was just today, I was talking to myself that this man, uh, con considering what I have gone through, this man must have a really, really good background on a torture tactics too, like a physical torture. Um, it's probably the type of individual that was selected based on his knowledge, torture knowledge. I would really like to know what kind of torture knowledge this individual possesses. What is it, his real qualifications behind his lawyer's background? What else is he familiar, acquainted with? What else have he done to the people? And as you know, he dates all the way back to the Soviet Union uh, when he would even appear at USSR embassy for many people, unknown reasons and so on. Um, it's this video, it's here to, to clarify the issues that some Polish people definitely were brainwashed with as per 
my replacing the political system with royalism, with as a royalty. You would say this is completely nuts, it's completely insane. It is. Just like 25 years of my life was ruined, destroyed through the use of violence, from forced unemployment to psychiatry, MK Ultra torture, most severe torture. Uh, and really would be insane if case would not be proven. It is, it is, it is completely insane, but it's what this ruling party, this this party, this party, this party in the Poland, uh, it's a ruling party. It doesn't matter if there is a majority of the people they vote for, or it's just a few men that decide about votes of the people. Uh, I should say count votes of the people. It doesn't matter. They are the ruling party. They are the one they decide about absolutely everything here in Poland. Uh, and so it's really important for me to clarify so that the people that believe that there will be like possibility that system could change into something more prosperous, something that would be uh, more according to, well, I just say so that people could stay here and have life here in Poland, jobs, prosperity, and so on. Uh, I just say that people might get tired of these structures, these Soviet structures. You don't have a leader that sends 100 people uh, to death. You don't have everyday leader like this. Mr. Kaczynski is totally exclusive when it comes to that kind of stuff. I think there's a lot of reasons why people are fed up uh, with this type of government and you know there might also not be I, I don't really know the situation I do not know the situation the only thing I know is that I know that you know, there is a saying um, it takes just a few good people to do nothing for the evil to go on uh, but this is a little bit deeper, this stuff here. This is way deeper. I feel this is way, way, way deeper. Uh, I feel that Kaczynski's game, Kaczynski's violent game, is based on completely controlled, uh, what he referred to the people as designated maybe opposition or something like this in case if something would be happening in my direction and something would be happening in direction that I believe he brainwashed people with um, would be beneficial for the Poland because there were all kinds of financial issues involved in this stuff financial issues that concern Buckingham Palace Germany United States and so on, uh, countries that pledge to support financial aid package that would easily exceed even $200 billion more under my name, literally. So basically they would push me forward like as a preferred option. This is why this video is a really important video, I think. Uh, it needs to be clarified, it needs to be uh, it needs to be clarified, it needs to be I already have analyzed why this kind of issues I have come to terms what is going on and so now I can clearly explain that I personally uh, I'm just gonna state this straight uh, I am not interested, uh, uh, absolutely, I don't feel that I am affiliated with the people of Poland in any way. After going through what I did uh, in Poland, I feel that I am not affiliated. Um, 
Of course, I will explain why. Uh, in fact, that I do not plan to even attend any kind of church services anytime soon. So I could mentally connect, associate uh, with them in absolutely any way. I reject that kind of notion. I'm disgusted with the country. Um, in this case, this isn't about... It takes few people to do nothing for evil to go on. This is much deeper. This is a scenario that rolled out that 25 years of my life was destroyed, wiped out through extreme use of torture that involved even psychiatry, forget about forced unemployment, and involved issues that I will explain in the videos that will follow that will turn your stomach around. I have not even spoken about, I wasn't sure if I should touch them, but I think that it's so, the story, the whole tale is so disgusting, repulsive, but luckily for me, proven fact, with proofs, based with the proofs that I am going to go ahead and I'm going to release the whole thing. United States of America government, the one who in 2009 and in 2006 gestured me that I don't have the right to even stay in the United States of America or recorded and posted on the internet, that I am the one who is a disgrace for the United States of America, that I should get out of the United States of America, was even diagnosed with schizophrenia, paranoia disease in 2010 when in the US. For the first time in my life, somebody actually spit this kind of definition in my face. And it was a roommate involved in MK Ultra, the whole family near Seattle. Still today in 2019, nothing would suggest, nothing exists out there that somebody could say that I am suffering from one. Um, from any kind of symptoms that would suggest that I have anything similar to that, it's quite the opposite. It's quite uh, actually amazing on just how resistant I am to one. Going through what I did and not demonstrating absolutely any signs that would suggest presence of one can only confirm extremely stable health of an individual, mental health of an individual. So this is a pretty sad story for somebody to have 25 years of life ruined like this. Well, unfortunately for me, the story didn't end there. When I came to Poland, I decided somehow that I will give it a try, that I will stay here, especially what I have after what I have undergone in Slovakia, who also was involved in this ordeal along with the Czech Republic, Ukraine, and Russia. Czech, for the Czech Republic, um, here in Poland, uh, I have faced a situation of this Eastern European car market and have analyzed cars for the purchase. And for the first time, I have paid attention to the car known as Škoda. That's a Czech producer of the vehicle, uh, of this vehicle brand. And and the memories kicked in about year 1996. That's about actually 95, 96, beginning of 96, when Škoda Octavia, then sometimes in 97, would roll out at the end of 96. Uh, it's actually that overseas abductions, the first abductions that took place. Uh, the first abductions that took place were to Norway, to Sweden, to Germany, to Holland, to Britain. Uh, but in respect to the Eastern Europe, the first one that went, went led straight into Praga, into the Czech Republic. 
that's where I had Czech people expressing extreme gratitude to me uh, when they had the ability to associate with Angela Merkel which was at the time pushing forward my case. She was rolling me forward like you roll a rug uh, in front of the president, literally. Uh, she insisted and insisted that everything in respect of the Eastern Europe should go straight to me since I am Eastern European. Uh, and I had, according to her, pro-German views. This pro-German views are going to be discussed, um, excuse me, discussed in details. I'm going to separate the video uh, for that matter so you can understand how those views uh, developed unless you already have read the story I have posted about what went on in the United States when I came. What kind of German views? This were pro-German views. Uh, but because I did perform according to her standards, I was her preferred MK Ultra toy, for whom she also pledged Germany will pay a lot of money just so I could be used, just for being used under MK Ultra. And so the first factory that benefited in '96 was a Skoda factory. Skoda factory, individual involving this stuff. Um, is nowadays a president. This is Mr. Zeman. This was the individual, the first individual that uh, got into this case uh, and he was just, at the time I think he was a prime minister, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, or was it whatever I did read about. This is not that I would know what he was back then. This is something I browsed the internet and I read about. But this was the man that was um, in a panicking mode concerning Czech Republic. He was in a panicking mode concerning Czech Republic and um, the gratitude the people, Czech people pledged that they would help me out no matter what with my case, that they're going to help me out uh, proving that my case is real. Uh, two designers uh, of Škoda Octavia, that was a project, was a Škoda Octavia, that's when basically Škoda took off. Um, I know, I can point them out who they were at that time, how they looked like. I also remember their workplace, where inside of the factory was located. I remember what the workplace, the table, what it looked like. But I understand in later stage it changed. It they repositioned the things. I don't know what they have done to it. But uh, demonstrating me the photos of the past uh, Škoda factory interior facility. I can actually point it out as well as I can identify them physically the way they looked back then because both of them were so extremely happy uh, with what was not even a financial aid. You see, I was always into money. I was always interested in finances, economy. And so on, even under MK Ultra, when you are practically lobotomized under MK Ultra, your brain is retarded, slow down, the drugs basically paralyze your brain to the point that easily uh, gestures that otherwise would be immediately rejected by your logic uh, are, can be inserted. Uh, your view on reality can be greatly uh, modified, manipulated is the best way to describe. I know so because the factory where I work right now um, involved certain operations, work operations, and I remember when I was compelled to observe these operations 
Uh, it's it appeared to me, uh, not that it would appear to me, but when when they handed me opportunity to to work on those uh, operations, I could not perform anywhere even near as fast and as good as people who would not be uh, basically drugged up, and not that I would not be capable to. Uh, that's exactly the case. Is exactly the opposite. It's way more capable, but no because of the drugs, because of the use of drugs. That's what drugs do to you. And my surprise, it was not the money that Germans would give Czech. You know, uh, in my eyes, it was about the money. How much money money uh, you give to modernize basically factories and that. Quickly, they corrected me. These two engineers, it was very little money. The money was just enough I think to to get the operation going. Last night I was talking to myself, might have been like 200 million, something like that, but it was not. Uh, rather it was maybe even 50 million. What was it? Euros, maybe something like that, maybe even less, maybe even less money. But the technology, don't know how much uh, you're familiar with the car manufacturing, but this is very robotic robotized uh, industry uh, that requires um, high skills in even in maintenance of those uh, you are okay if you can at least maintain uh, whatever is designed over there in uh, in, in pre-manufacturing facilities where this type of robots machines are developed if you can just maintain that kind of stuff, you're okay. And that's exactly what the Germany have given to the Czech Republic. They brought the entire plant basically to the Czech Republic. They basically toss away this Škoda Felicia, these old uh, models. They, they uh, totally rebranded the whole thing. And this is what started the Škoda. This was the model, was the name was the Škoda Octavia was the name. This is how it all started. And so I was disappointed by the Czech people. Boy, Mr. Zeman, he was so grateful to me. He was so happy about, it was one company, basically that was revived, literally true to me, uh, according to these two people. And then there was yet another company. So there were two companies in year 1996 that Czech people pushed forward. Uh, this Miller Zeman was, like this, shivering. This is how desperate he was to get the Czech Republic going. Czech Republic was completely, completely down on the knees. Uh, it looked like even as if a revolt would come out next, if something is not going to be done. This is how bad it was in year 1996 in Czech Republic. So two companies. I don't know which was the other company, but it was about stuff like this, saving jobs. So, if you have a doubts about this MKUltra case, now I have a facts which support the most unbelievable claim in the history of the humankind. The worst one ever. Now, regarding the United States government, I'm not going to even go into it, but it does concern Mr. Epstein, or rather the issue on how all these people according to this SIA um, chief, became acquainted with me. I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to go any further. It's very fam uh, painful. Um, nothing for me to be ashamed of in respect to 2009, when I have actually even audio recorded the US government gesturing me that I'm the one who is disgraced for United States of America that I should leave, despite the fact that I have never committed a single crime uh, in my lifetime, not only in the United States of America. Let's go back to the issue here, uh, Poland. I got a little bit lost, I admit here.
the scenario which Mr. Kaczynski designed along with his peers greatly, greatly deviates from logic. Uh, if you remember in Grotnikov, I mean Sgirs now, it's about two hours and a half a walk from here. I'm going to put it this way because this is what I used. In the late stage, before I exited the last month, I used actually transportation. I would go out of stop, but before that it was all walk. It was all about the Russians. Russians have Russians were guilty for everything. For absolutely, Russians were the one they were guilty for. I mean, everything to blame the guilt on was on the Russians. Even that more and more and more things became clear that it's got more and more to do with the police station. That it was the police station at least that covered up for this Russians. This is what became evident in a latent stage of Grotniki. What definitely got my attention in Grotniki was the fact that regardless of what I would do, all the negative stuff that I was suggesting on MK Ultra, which demanded from me absolute patriotism, Polish patriotism, absolute patriotism for me. Um, literally even purchasing emblems of Polish flag, of everything, and then giving them out to the people according to their assistance to me, their help to me. Even that stuff was a brainwash. But that's the stuff that I was so much excited about doing. I was very much excited in seeing the people uh, I still am happy about goodwill of the people. It's just that I have a certain things that I want to discuss in this video. Why things like this? Regardless of what I would do, it doesn't matter really what I would do. That was interesting part. The negative stuff would continue to roll out. This was one of the observations that I have acknowledged immediately. So what they would do is they demanded absolute uh, patriotism, they demanded absolute devotion to the country, but at the same time they would basically go and spit literally in your face. Literally they would be throwing garbage in your face all the time. Using heavy doses of radiation, poisoning that would blow the hypertension in your head. Frequently you would be at the edge of the stroke eventually developed pain in the head at point that I felt that it would be better that I just climb on some bridge and jump off that bridge. According to the MK Ultra scenarios would go as far as even it came in a real time whenever I would purchase um, they would get a hold of it within day two because they would irradiate you so much that eventually you would, uh, you could not keep up with a tempo like this. Eventually you would turn around or something and they would go grab that the next thing you see. Boom, destroy the next day, whatever. You couldn't, you couldn't keep up with it, not financially, not with the timing, not in physically, in absolutely any way. The sleep deprivation perhaps was one of the most effective techniques and everything else that you have witnessed in my videos. It was all about the Russians. Then it became evident that Russian torture was not limited only to a private settings, but literally went on throughout this gear where the Russians would intimidate me um, in front of the business owners. So basically what they would do is they would terrorize business owners using me in case those would um, decide to help and stuff like this. For what magically then the police uh, 
first it was that they have these proofs and so on, but then that they would not want to get into anything like this. And it's quite related to the story from the Belarus from 2017 when MKHO was used, that they actually have agreement with the Belarus that um, the Belarus is going to have to be on board and stuff like this. Uh, all kinds of stuff like this, that these are the things that they agree that I'm not going to mention, that I'm not going to get into, and so on and so forth. So just the story continued to change, 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 change. But this violence uh, did not stop in Grotnika. This violence continued and it became completely clear that, well, it, can, it became completely clear that actors which no longer were Russian citizens, and I can say that these Chechens, um, these people from Gruzia, from you know, from those areas uh, that are part of the Russian Federation, uh, I think about ninety percent of them that they actually loved me. They they just had to comply with few Russians that uh, managed this whole operation. But other than that. These people gave me even food and stuff like this. The ladies, they would just want to help me. But what the Russians did with this kind of brainwash, uh, Russians, I mean, Polacks, Slovenians, uh, with brainwash like that you're going to be hijacked over there to Caucasian country, that you're going to be exported over there if you're going to side with them if, if you're not going to hate them, literally. Hate was literally the condition. That was what Mr. Kaczynski conditioned all along with the hate. It was all about the hatred. Crime, basically crime. He's a common criminal. He's a common criminal. Um, a terrorist that turns people into a hatred, into extreme hatred, so he can manipulate, destroy them through that hatred. And none of that stuff, none of that stuff really um, played out. It was just, it was just a way to hype a person, to do with a person, whatever, you know, he believed he's going to do with me. And, my God, by the stuff that was done to me, right now I can say, and this did not happen in Grotniki, this happened right here, this place where I am right now. This is already the third location uh, I am at in Sgirsh. Uh, I am only left with the Orthodox cross. Uh, the Polish Maria was gone. The Roman Catholic cross uh, in Slovenia is what we have in Poland. They also have that. It's gone. Now it's all of the Orthodox Russian cross that is still left with me. And that one I cited, I put on the side because I like all three of them. Um, this is basically what I identify myself with. And it's becoming clear that the person who did this is not a Russian. If you remember the religious desecration of my symbols, uh, my religious symbols in Grotniki was one thing, and it repeated again by the Russian over there who was with me, Yuri, and so on, who admitted, by the way. Um, but it extends out of the Grotniki. The vandalizement of the objects, violence, literally physical violence, when you would have individual coming in your face and uh, pushing you with his forehead against your forehead and stuff like this, who was involved in MK Ultra. Um, destruction of the private property, um, prohibition of even use. Um, Postal services, again, a bunch of items did not come. And items, as you know, became, came, arrived, destroyed prior to my getting them in my hands. And I literally got them through the postal service. Um, 
postal service will not even deliver them and stuff like this uh, unacceptable behavior here at the state office where you register yourself for a residence actually when you register your residence uh, that involved even you know issues such as uh, German IDs issued to the Polish people in the World War II occupation. Um, just people that are completely affiliated with the police department in Zgierz. Um It didn't have nothing less and less to do with the Russians. I barely could see any Russian maybe over there at work. But other than that, these were Ukrainian people. Uh, I'm sorry that I use the word Ukrainian people. I apologize for that. These are the people from Ukraine, closely affiliated here with the Polish police and Poles alone, Polish people, a real Polacks, who would do this kind of troubles, who would scam with the rent, who would do this, who would authorize trespassings, vandalizement, and so on. It didn't stop there. You see, in Grotnikov, it extended way beyond. It eventually went into the issue where I'm right now, and I have to say this. I gotta say, I gotta roll this out. I got a few videos I did not even publish yet, but I'm just gonna start to stress these things out. It eventually went to extreme that involved nothing other than Polish people. The neighbor right here suggested, the lady suggested that even they're going to help me out with the glass coating. What was done to me in respect to glasses was uh, they would use a special liquid that would eat the glass coating. That's basically what they have done. Okay, so what this would do is once the glass coating is destroyed, uh, you have a real, real, real uh, vision impairment. Uh, you are going to suffer a real, real, real trouble. Okay. Now, under MK Ultra scenario, what they did was they, they brainwashed with uh, scratching the glasses. So, well, basically the difference is none the problem is that you have to somehow remove that coating and that coating basically you have to somehow scratch off i understand it's too late now that that can also get kind of a wash off uh, but make no mistake about that it was my boss my present boss right now that reminded me at work where i work on what I was told it would be done with me, with his glasses, very, very specific glasses. He's a very nice man who rather would help me, if anything. Uh, and it's just so much you can do. It's a very nice lady here, the neighbor that gestured that um, if I'm going to leave the, the doors open, that she's going to go and spray this a little bit with the type of dissolvent so that the coating can go off but i really don't want that uh, for a variety of reasons uh, i did publish them online but not for the public yet they had americans here they would use at least but three people were using uh, they studied exactly what to do with the glass coating when you're in trouble and they were trying to remove one and every time it was just a disaster that came out the worst about everything was Mrs. Bojana from Grotniki who already at the beginning of my arrival uh, to Grotniki uh, just a few months down the road when I was there, pulled out a pair of glasses uh, which was used under MKUltra. They had the glasses that 
you couldn't see anything different dioptry and when the torture in Poland started sometimes uh, in this area here I'm referring to my dioptry exploded for unknown reasons and this is where you got what they were doing under MK Ultra, this kind of stuff. So don't tell me what kind of people are these Pollocks then. You know, it's very unpleasant to be kind of a blind, to even know that my eyesight is going to worsen because of the stuff like this. It did worsen. I compared this kind of stuff to a little the accident attack. Like if you go, if you read the news that they threw the exit in the people's faces. I don't really care if they understand the issues they have created. Uh, I'm just saying that I cannot relate to the people like this in absolutely any way. I'm not even going to say, but most of the people, uh, yeah, it could be that most of the people are good. It could be that most of the people are good. I'm not saying that. That's not the case, but basically what I'm saying is that the nation, unfortunately, is not judged based on goodness of the most of the people. A nation is judged, and that's the way it should be, that's the way it's got to be, based on the leading party, the leading, the leading group of the people that is taking charge of whatever they are doing. Or maybe if you like, based on, in this case, maybe majority of the people that aren't doing absolutely anything about this case. I should say they haven't done anything about this case. And I believe this is the people that are led by completely controlled uh, controllers of Mr. Kaczynski. I think that this opposition is totally controlled and that's why this video, I don't, I just want to remove this cloud uh, of hope, false hope from the people because there might be some really, there might be some innocent people in this that know nothing about really what's going on and I think that I do owe them a good explanation. I feel disgusted by the Paula. I'll be honest, I'm disgusted, I'm not impressed with it. It's disgusting to go to ruin somebody 25 years of life and then do this kind of stuff. I still have this sound in my head. I don't think this is ever going to go away. Because I'm pretty much driving probably on the edge of the stroke or something like this. I have no idea how this is going to end at all, you know? And then I have a whole bunch of other issues. I'm not going to go even, I'm not going to even go into it. I'm not going to go even, I'm not going to even go into this kind of issues. Um, I don't know how much they're real. Because the possibility exists that they are real. According to MK Ultra brainwash, it was a severe brainwash done. And believe me, this is about the worst as you can get if other issues will not scare you away. Uh, and then the physical portion of it, which could, without even doing what I have mentioned right now, and I did not explain what already do that kind of stuff. A lot of bad stuff happening continues to happen. I was, I mean, I got to do a bunch of things that I'm going to continue to do. I'm not going to post them online yet, but I am going to start posting the stuff. Like at the beginning of the video, I just read, I'm going to review this Kaczynski is a big fat lie uh, about royalism, new royalism in Poland. Uh, reappearance of the royalism you know i would definitely not want to be controlled by you know i i would not want to have a police officers looking inside of my wallet counting my money basically condition me 
with what I can afford when and this and that for my own work. Uh, and, you know, I would not want to have a bunch of people coughing around me for the rest of my life. It's fucking heavy. Excuse me. It's unacceptable like this. Especially, you know, using violence and one like this and, and doing this stuff like this is really, really unacceptable. So this, I have to say that you're not going to see me. I'm just going to repeat in my blog as I have written down anytime soon in a church praying along this Polish people. I do not see myself, I do not affiliate myself with this nation in absolutely any way. I don't care. I do not care if they are controlled. I do not care if, um, if it's just a few people running this show. I do not care if it's a leading party running this whole show. Um, all I know is that it was a lie that grew up into a total, total, total irrationalism, in a total crap. Uh, this kind of a patriotism was a completely false, fake crap. Uh, the only reward you would get for one would be basically beating. And it became clear that it was not even Russians who did this shit, but Poles did it right here and are still doing it right here in Poland. So it goes back to the issue I have suggested in one of the videos, and it was I was brainwashed under MK Ultra that eventually uh, I'm gonna head back to Moscow, that I will go to the Russia, and that's when all the problems are gonna end and everything is gonna be okay, and tra la 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 li li la la. Uh, eventually, that's how this portion of this Polish brainwash and how the whole thing is going to end. Eventually, that, you know, I will have to if I will want to leave and stuff like this. And with a bunch of shit, they're going to prove me that these were not even Russian people and so on. I bet they were not. Not, not, not Ukrainian and not Russian. So, to speak, for people to understand more or less what goes on, nothing goes on, it's, it's, it's just a bad stuff that goes on, that rolls on, it may not be seen, but it's just completely unacceptable stuff that goes on. Stuff that was not limited to total humiliation on the MKUltra because of the type of work uh, that involves, it's a physical work uh, that has a spine exposed to extreme abuse and then you develop all kinds of issues um, for which you could, from a natural platform you would go seek as a remedy maybe something that would at least soften the pain you know, maybe something sweet, you know, coffee, food, whatever. Because it's not easy when you wake up. Um, they would not even limit themselves into, into a dietary issues. Which under MK Ultra would go as far as having, according to them, a state lady, which was president at the Tesco the other day, uh, stalking me around the store for what I was told on MK Ultra would be a state lady that I would be observed extremely on every step or whatever I would do um, in case I would start to gain weight that they would stop the project the help project this for them in their eyes this is this is still help assistance I do not understand any of this um, this, a prelude into this situation was a variety of other things at work. Um, including group harassment on food, 
all kinds of issues that led eventually into new uniforms that were given out on what the shirt like this was issued to me. Um, this is uh, does not look anywhere even near as the older one, but you can notice how short here in the bottom is this sleeve here. Um, one that was given to me was like super super huge and the other one was this one here and this is definitely not this is other stuff um, yet I have to talk about and so on and it doesn't matter uh, my weight really did not go up it maybe did go up but really really not that much but it doesn't matter it's just it's just so uh, humiliating, derogatory, degrading uh, attacks that are being used to undermine you in absolutely every sense. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to say maybe that you would not see yourself as a part of this culture or just, I don't know, maybe to break you, to wear you down so you would maybe just except this is a way to go. Uh, either of the two, I have to say that I have to distance myself. I don't want to disappoint myself. Um, and I don't want to become part of something like this. And foremost, I want to protect people. There are some good people out there. There really are some good people out there. And these are the people my concern that main concern that I do not want to disappoint. It's just you have to understand my position that uh, I am not going to share my faith, my beliefs with a country like this. Uh, if this is what it comes to, and I think that every person should, um, you know, have his decisions based on this kind of you know, if it goes through the stuff like this, I don't think that, uh, you know, that that you should affiliate yourself with something that, that, that is like this. You, you really cannot. You can just do that much. You, you cannot go, you cannot continue, you know, with this stuff like this. I think, in my opinion, that what went on, what goes on is the idea Kaczynski's idea to even kill the will for life in me because it's it's just um, going absolutely everything that that people take for granted and it's the violence that's been used to a real physical heavy violence it gets to that variety of situations that you are basically compelled into that could I don't know, cripple you, that could completely cripple you, destroy you completely. This is not a test, as Mr. Kaczynski suggested. They suggested this is going to be the test based on which your future as a royalty in Poland is going to be determined. The issue of the test is being used for destroying human life in this case. And that's important for me to declare today so those human rights agencies, the people that are observing this stuff, understand basically what goes on. So it's not going to be some kind of misconception uh, about really what goes on. That's basically all there is to it. Um, this was designed from the very beginning to destroy me, to rip me apart. And it goes specially given American side. The American side was obsessed with getting me out of Poland one way or the other. They were just, first they were really obsessed with getting me out of Loč area, out of Woj area, out of Zgirsh. Uh, and I think there was a bunch of these few selected people that really, really got well compensated. They're definitely, absolutely, this stuff is video, is being video recorded just as I was told. It's been audio recorded, it's been transmitted. There is no doubt about it. 
I do have quite interesting stuff, videos I'm going to post. Now the winter is coming, now the stuff is going to start to appear. I have this little place here uh, and it should get interesting. Uh, the stuff, the facts. But as far as myself, I can tell you that I have recognized people from Ukraine to the point that I would describe their homes. Um, pretty much I can tell you for the variety of people that are employed in this company that I definitely would be capable to describe their private settings in their countries. Uh, whether those are apartments, houses or whatever. And I got confirmations for that. Believe me, I don't have a magic wings. So I would just fly around the world and identify people know how they looked in the past, know their parents, know uh, that kind of stuff. And it's got nothing to do with Mr. Elon Musk, with his AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, Mr. Musk was just handpicked by Mr. Joe Biden from the college to oversight this case. Um, he would study parallel to this and so on. Uh, you see, I remember details before Mr. Musk even came up with his, uh, I believe, stolen patent. Because I think every, everything about this individual is just, uh, I think nothing really is uh, authentic. You know, even gestured at one point that he's doing marijuana smoking because of me. Uh, because he wants to help me so bad, but he can't. And stuff like this now even this shit I was guilty of um, never mind folks uh, this is what what it is um, I'm gonna start to release these videos something I should have done already earlier but now really everything here is okay I am gonna go ahead now and try to get myself eventually home here in Poland it's just cheaper than renting a residence plus it's your own place there are your own rules you don't have to worry about uh, door locks and stuff like this installation of them and so on uh, and it's safer too uh, cheaper and everything else of course i think this would be the first thing to do um, But as far as that kind of stuff, I do want to be clear when it comes to that, that I'm not impressed with this country in any way. This country did not. This country completely failed to, to impress me. Uh, these are just the basic things. Uh, I have spoken to a Chinese seller from AliExpress the other day. And she asked me, she said, why don't you go to the doctor, to the physician, and have this medical examination for your eyes to see if they worsen, what the dietary is, and so on. And Because I did have a readout from my glasses from optometrist here in town, uh, from optician. And, you know, it was that same thing popped up in my head, just like in Grotnika. God forbid that I would take, like, you know, that you would ask for like a health related issues, that you would ask for any kind of help, these physicians here in Poland. God forbid. Uh, or even go out there and pay them for something they have created deliberately. None of this would be in question. In Grotnika, I decided if anything would happen to me with the health related physically, whatever it would be, I don't know, whether that would be spine or whatever it would be, hand or whatever I would break or whatever, I would just take a hike with a bus across the border. And I would not, I would not even want that from Germans, to be honest. Uh, and the same thing applies to the eyes. So, you know, when you think, when you feel like this, then you definitely, you're not part of this thing here. You don't feel like, you know, you don't feel like you want really anything from it, you know. Uh, that's all there is now. Uh, we'll see how things are going to play out that much. And 
I'll follow up with some audios and stuff like that. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.